You know, more solicitors come to your door every summer, and each time you hear a knock, you may be looking for a way to kind of steer clear of them. My little girl gets so excited. She when they come? Her friends are coming, the neighbors are coming <laughs> over. For one community, all you need to stop this is a sticker in Denver 7's Counter West. Shares what you can do if you're at the end of your rope with these door-to-door -door sales. This sign's job is to keep this sound at bay. It keeps me from having to answer my door during the day to people I don't want to have to deal with. Cindy Setters has had this sticker near her door for years now. She says it helps control who comes to her door. I run a business out of my home, so I'm not wanting to have to deal with strangers coming to my door. It's right at eye level, so yeah. I don't think that you could miss it right there. Yeah. And you think most people choose to appreciate that, respect that rule. Yeah, that's what I found. People living in Castle Rock are registering their house on the no-knock list site here. You get the sticker in the mail and post well, it. I put the sign up there just so I wasn't being bothered. Randy Picker covered up his homemade no soliciting sign with the sticker now spreading around the community. And there's a few people that ignore it, but it works for actually really good. I see a lot of people stop at the end of the sidewalk there and turn around and leave. And for those who don't listen to the sign, you can check out this list list of registered solicitors online. Those who are approved should be wearing a badge from the city. And if you have any issues with someone coming back over and over again, you can report them to the police. Just try to get the name of the person or business soliciting, badge number, type of car they are driving, and a license plate number. In Castle Rock, Connor Wist, Denver 7. Now, anyone soliciting or going door to door in Douglas County has to register now. The Sheriff's Office says if someone does not sign up, they could be fined up to $1,000 for each separate time they don't follow those rules.